Now, I am primarily a Webflow designer, as most of you know, but when Wix Studio asked me to collaborate with them on this video, I said, why not? Let's take a look. So this is the disclaimer. This is a partnership video. If you don't like that, that's all good. But everything I talk about in this video will be my own opinions. I made sure of that. So let's get into it. So what even is Wix Studio? I think most people recognize the word Wix in there and they think that it's just Wix.com with a wrapper on top of it. But when I took a look at Wix Studio, the new platform that they created, I think it has some pretty decent things that we can talk about here. And we're going to discuss why this might be the right tool for you if you are transitioning to developing from designing. Now, when you first log in, it's gonna ask you to either one, start from a blank canvas, or number two, edit from a template. Now, again, most of the things that I remember from Wix was that it was quite clunky, it, the designs weren't very nice, it wasn't scalable, but this is some of the work that you can get right off the bat from Wix Studio. I'm gonna click on this one here because I think it's quite similar to what a lot of people might be doing with e-commerce, maybe a landing page, maybe some sort of a company project. So let's take a look at what they have here. Now, when we first load in, we'll see that we have a similar editor to either Webflow or Framer. There isn't the freeform canvas as you would find with Framer or Figma, but it is more similar to the Webflow type of build. So what are the things that we can find here? Number one, we have when we click on one of the dibs or containers in this case, we can open up the layers and we can see that we have different sections as you would. We have this line here, some vector art, and then this stack. So you can see that we are producing this kind of unique layout by adding all these different stacks. And instead of calling it a frame or auto layout, they're calling it a stack as you would inside of Framer as well. So I just wanna preview this to show you guys what we're dealing with here. So we have this big piece of text here with this image and then a view projects button. This can also be linked to their CMS. And the CMS is one of the things that I want to talk about because the CMS is another one of its new perks. So before we get into that though, I just wanna take a look at some of the stacks and components that we can add. When we click on the plus here, we see that we get a quick add, some assets that are kind of reused all over the place. We can scroll down to sections and we can see that we have a lot of different design sections. This is similar to a library or something like that, that you can just drag it in. Or if I can click on this and it'll just update it into my design. Now I'm gonna get rid of that because it doesn't necessarily fit, but let's see what else we've got going on here. We also have wireframes if you wanna design your own. Makes complete sense to me. You've got cards, spotlight, slideshow, so let's see if we can add in a slideshow here. So item title one, go ahead and preview that. And so now we have that content that we can edit and change in what the background looks like. If we want it to be fixed height, apply max width, change the layouts, apply an overlay. So you can see that the options that you get to actually edit the content itself is quite extensive. You can also apply an advanced CSS grid if you need to, but in this case, we can just delete this and move on to the next one. There's also a bunch of different containers, buttons, layout tools that you need, text, just the basic stuff. This gives you all the different textiles that you have so you can see directly what you're working with. We've got different marquees, buttons, search, media, if you need decorative for some reason, I wouldn't be using this kind of content, but it's there for the people that need it, right? Then it also gives you the option to start a blog, store, bookings, and events. So this is something that's amazing with Wix Studio that I think other platforms could look into integrating as well, which is that you have these capabilities right out of the gate. So we can add this to our site, and it's just going to take a little while to prepare the layout, configure the components, and add everything in that it needs to. So now that we added this event pages, it created a new dropdown here for events, events details and registration, and then schedule. So all of this is gonna be editable, and it's right out of the gate, and we can see that it's pretty darn good if I say so myself, and it's easy to edit. And so if we click on manage event, we'll see that it takes us to the dashboard, and we can go ahead and edit it from there. But all this stuff is right out of the gate from when you're creating the site. So I think it cuts down the time to actually build this kind of component. If you need something straight out of the box, that's pretty good. And I must give Wix Studio the props for that because it is a decent piece of kit. Next up, we've got the CMS and it's a pretty decent CMS. We can start from a preset, which I'm gonna do because I don't have any content to add right now, but let's see if we can add maybe something like our team members. It's just gonna create the individual pages. So this could be similar to if you wanted to do a blog, maybe a projects catalog, maybe a services catalog, any CMS that you would need to add, this is gonna give you that option. And we can see that it's gonna produce this table for us, or this kind of Excel sheet that we can change in all the information 
right out of the gate. So it's easy for anybody to edit this information and it's gonna be displayed in this auto layout type of format. Now down here, if we want to, we can also edit the text. So we can click edit content. So it'll take us back to the table. So in this case, I'm gonna change this to Arnold Ross, X out of this, and we see that it edited the content itself. And that's not what I look like, but in this case, it will be fine. Now, it's pretty clear to see that this stuff is always gonna be scalable if we're using their presets, but just like any other platform, you can create your own designs that's gonna scale up and down the cascading, all that good stuff, so you don't need to necessarily worry about it. This part I really like where you have your styles directly embedded into the side as you could do with other platforms. So here we have heading one, heading two, all the way down to H6, and then three different paragraphs we got your colors, so these are kind of like variables, max width, so this is really nice. It allows you to create a max width for individual elements. So we can go ahead and make this, maybe we can just see something happen here, maybe 1400, something like that. And then we can preview it and then see that the max content is gonna stay right there. Now the next part is interesting because I'm actually not collaborating with anybody on this document, obviously, but you do have the option to add in members and they can have their own little editor as you would with other platforms and you can change the permissions. And so this is directly from their help site, their support, but it's interesting to see that you can have these capabilities as well. So let's see some other links here. You can invite people. And so just like any other platform, so there is no reason to say that Wix Studio does not have kind of the, those capabilities, right? Because clearly out of the box, it is pretty good. I wanna take a look at some of the designs that are available here. And so the first one here is visualidentity.co.in and we can see that I picked a couple of them here to see what it would look like, just to see how we can build with Wix Studio. I'm gonna use Weblizer, and we can see that this CMS and e-commerce and everything is using Wix. This has that interaction that I really like, which is on a mouse over effect, it kind of moves the background with the parallax effect with the images. When we scroll down, it's gonna keep those images in place, and then we get this piece of text. Now this has a sort of locomotive text scrolling effect, which people might not like it, some people might, it, it depends on, on the site, I guess, but it's nice to see it in this case. Then we have this image down here, which I'm not exactly sure how they did. It might be a video because the text on the background kind of is, is reflective with the, with the stone. But anyways, if we keep on scrolling, we'll see that we get all these images that go on top, which is nice. And then a showcase of some different websites, freaks and Prismo port, I, mean, I don't know, all these, all these different names. But anyways, I feel like this site kind of shows that whatever you wanna build is possible with Wix Studio. It's not the same thing as Wix. It has its own system. It's a lot better than it used to be. And so maybe it's time to, to give it a, an opportunity. And I think that's completely fair. Now, although Wix Studio does seem to be on another level now, it's not what it used to be. It's not living in a vacuum, right? There are other platforms that are available and I use those platforms and a lot of people do as well. So I wanna talk about those very briefly, which is gonna be Webflow and Framer, which are gonna be the, I guess, the most comparable options, right? There's also WordPress and custom coding and all that stuff. I think those two might be the most similar option. So when I look at two strengths and weaknesses when we're comparing it to those two, and there's gonna be a full video on a full comparison between Wix, Studio, Framer, Webflow, some other platforms. So keep an eye on that one. So let's compare it to Webflow. One of the things that I love so much about Webflow is that it is the absolute ultimate no-code tool. You can build absolutely anything. There's no restrictions whatsoever. And it's mainly has a super duper steep learning curve, which is, I mean, it took me a long time to learn Webflow, right? But anyways, with Wix Studio, it feels like it is easier to get into it. There's a less steep learning curve, I must say, especially with all of these elements that you can add. It feels a little bit more friendly for designers and for just pretty much everybody from complete beginners to professionals that want to start building and, and selling sites with Wix Studio. I feel like it's comparable to everyone. So that's my comparison within Webflow. For Framer, I would say that it is a lot more intuitive for designers because you have pretty much direct correlation between Figma and Framer. It's super easy to jump from Figma to Framer and just start launching sites like that. But it might be the case that you're looking for something with more structure, which Wix Studio might be able to give you. I mean, after all, at the end of the day, everything's said and done. A tool is a tool and it only is as good as the person that's using the tool. So take all this with a grain of salt. The last pro I wanna give Wix Studio is gonna be all the integrations that they have right out of the gate. Number one, for events and members. They also have this massive apps, which Webflow now added. So we now have Wix stores, the booking, blog, restaurants, orders, table reservations, pricing plans. So it's like you can build literally anything right out of the gate from 
this platform, which is phenomenal. Within other platforms, you might need to integrate more things. You can customize it as much as you want, but it is like an extra thing that you can do. So, I mean, it depends on the user, right? You might want something completely right out of the gate, or you might want to customize absolutely everything. And you can do that with both of these tools, right? So with that being said, I feel like that summarizes what I feel about Wix Studio. It is 30,000 steps up from what Wix was. It is, I mean, Wix still exists. So but Wix Studio is kind of like that elevated version of its older brother. I just wanna quickly go over the last few pages here because they have different designs and it's just quite interesting to see. So you got the projects, we've got an about us, contact. All right, so it's just, yeah, I mean, it's all super nice. I mean, this is just a template, but it's it's good to see the different layouts and how they can be built with a tool, right? Then we have a last, a long piece of text, event details and registration, schedule, member page. I actually wanna see the member page, see what that looks like. All right, so it's pretty built out, which is great. Team item, team list sign up. Okay. And then that gives us options. So yeah, in summary, Wix Studio has definitely evolved to be something more suited for professionals and also beginners that want to kind of start jumping into it. So it kind of offers the full spectrum, which I think is a fair assumption for this tool. It has a learning curve like any tool in the world will, but I would not say that it's as steep of a learning curve as some other tools. You can kind of quickly drag things in and using auto layout or stacks, it will allow you to customize that layout as Ever you wish. It offers some crazy integrations that are built in right out of the gate, which is amazing. So guys, if you're questioning whether Wix Studio might be a decent option to build a site, I recommend that you check it out. There's probably gonna be a link in the description where you can access Wix Studio and try it out if you haven't already, but I recommend just giving it a go, seeing if it resonates with you and your workflow. If you have a client that you might want to try this on, then I recommend it. It's a decent product that you can build a pretty good website with, as you can see with some of these examples that I've been showing. With that said and done, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this collaboration. And again, everything I said here is my own opinion. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.